Zubal, would you happen to remind me what color your head is? Are you f***ing serious asking this question now? Look, our next option is with a clown. I think the correct option would be Jax. Jax is really a clown. I definitely don't look so weird. Wait, did you really say that I look strange? No, I meant that. Um, yes, okay. To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. Um, this is already very strange. Hello, everyone, dear friends, and today we will find out how well we know the truth about ourselves. Seriously, quiz about us? Who even thought of making a video about this? We know ourselves better than anyone. Well, let's start with the easiest questions. I think it doesn't take a genius to guess which one of them is the Kingler. Hmm, which one am I? Let's think about it. Surely this will be the right option. I haven't seen Kofmo for so long that I forgot what he looks like. Well, I know that this is Kane, so this definitely must be Kofmo. I think you don't need to be a genius to guess the right option. Look, this type of Kofmo is already more familiar to me. Well, let's choose the right option. I don't think you should choose the right option. I definitely don't look so weird. Wait, did you really say that I look strange? No, I meant that. Um, yes, okay. I said you look weird, but you're just a huge flying jaw with eyes. Stop swearing. The previous test was quite easy. Now let's choose something more difficult. The first question was pretty easy. Now let's choose which of these am I. The right option is definitely wrong. Kane doesn't even play with dolls, so I think we need to choose a jaw. Well, this was the right option. Wait, two options? Triangle and bubble? I think the right option suits the bubble better. Let's choose the left option. But here we need to choose the right option, because Kofmo has always been a clown. Well, that was the right answer. Now let's choose the option that suits Regatta. This is definitely not an option with masks, so we will choose the option with a doll. It is very easy. We definitely shouldn't choose the rabbit option because I'm not Jax. Okay, now we need to choose which one is more like Jax, and we already know the answer from the previous question. This quiz was also very easy. I wonder if there will be anything more complicated here. So far we are coping with everything very easily. Maybe there will be a question here about what color are my panties. It seems to me that you definitely don't know the answer to this question. To be honest, I don't even want to know the answer to this question. Let's take this quiz. Here, you need to solve puzzles. Well, on the first question, you need to understand what happens if you combine a crown and a chess piece. I think it's obvious that this is Kinger. Why are there no buttons here? I have to write everything by hand. Well, triangle and crab? I don't even know who it could be. Are you seriously? I'm just sure that the right option is Zubal. Jax, why are you taking so long to type? It shouldn't be that difficult. You also spelled her name wrong. Why did you add that sign at the end? Guys, he left the computer for a while. I sat down to play. Look, our next option is with a clown. I think the correct option would be Jax. Yes, I completely agree with you. Jax is really a clown. But unfortunately, the correct answer is Kofmo. Because Kofmo is a clown in reality. Guys, I'm back. Wait, did you really think it was me? Haha, <laughs> very funny joke. But here you don't need to be a genius to answer correctly. The correct answer is, it's me, Gangle. Wait, why is everything answered correctly here already? Well, okay. We already know that the correct answer is Jax. Wait, what should I answer here? And our subscribers should answer this question. Guys, write in the comments which character is encrypted in this puzzle. We look forward to your answers, and we will definitely like the correct answers. Well, did you leave a comment? Great, and now we move on to the next quiz. But this is already interesting. Here we need to choose the right photo. Let's run after this guy. I can't understand how these photos are different. I think they only differ in the color of the shoes. Well, let's trust our intuition and go to the left answer. We haven't made a single mistake so far. Well, here it seems to me that the left answer will also be correct. It seems to me that the color of Jax's overalls has never been Nishin or orange. Pink would be the correct answer. What color is the bubble usually reflected in? It seems to me that it's definitely not blue or pink. I think we need to choose the option in the middle. Great! He was right! Now we need to guess the color of the Gangle's tears. Obviously, they should be blue. I think gold and red tears look too silly. Well, let's choose the right option. Great. We've moved on. Um, Zubal, would you happen to remind me what color your head is? Are you f***ing serious asking this question now? Let's pretend that I didn't hear him. Well, you need to choose the right cane eyes. The side options look too unrealistic. But in the middle is the best. Great, he was faithful. A green dress? It looks simply terrible. Basically the same as pink. 
but purple suits regatta best. Great, we passed this quiz. Now let's move on to the next one. Gloves. How can they even relate to our cartoon? Hmm, which quiz should we choose? I think that a quiz with minor characters would be the best option. It will actually be a little more difficult. This quiz is already for real fans of our cartoon. I think everyone knows that the correct answer is gloinks or a gloink. These are the most annoying characters in our cartoon. Great, we guessed right. Here the correct answer is the sun. I don't think it takes a genius to figure out that the sun and moon are depicted here. Why are these questions even here? Perhaps because we haven't shown many minor characters yet? Oh my god, it's the Gloink Queen! I don't want her to appear in our videos anymore. After it, I constantly have to get used to my real voice again. This quest was too easy too. Guys, let's choose something really hardcore. I want to answer some tough questions. Let's choose the coolest quiz. I think the quiz with eyes will be boring, just like the quiz with posters. Oh, this already looks interesting. Guess the character by the drawing of his person. I think it's obvious that a regatta is depicted here. By the way, this drawing looks very cool. Yes, I would also like someone to draw me in the same style. Look, who is this? I think this girl is very similar to Pomni. <sighs> Let's find out whether we are right or wrong. Great, this was the correct answer and we move on to the next drawing. Who could it be? This is very similar to Kinger. I also recognized him by the image of a cross that looks like a cross on his head. Well, Let's check if we are right or wrong. And we guessed right again. Great! Well, this picture is already very light. This girl looks like Zubal because I see a triangle sticking out of her pocket. Yes, I also think that this is very similar to me. Cool! We guessed right. Hmm. Now this is a really complex picture. Maybe a uh, regatta is depicted here? I really can't understand who they were trying to portray here. Well, I think it's worth trying the regatta version. This is the wrong answer. Well, guys, this is where your help is really needed. Write in the comments. Who do you think is shown in this picture? Guys, it depends on your answer whether we will progress further in this game or not. Well, thanks for the correct answers. So let's move on. Look, this is the last picture. I think it's obvious that this guy is Jax because he has a bag of chips in his hand. He constantly throws these chips all over the circus. Great! We beat this game. This game was quite fun and interesting. I hope that you answered with us and that you answered all the questions correctly. If you like the way we answer these quizzes, be sure to like this video and write about it in the comments. And we move on to the next game. I think she looks pretty creepy. She watches our every move. Sorry, am I disturbing you too much? Oh no, I think you fell. Hey buddy, maybe I can help you a little? I'm ready to add a little rainbow here. I think we added too much rainbow and he fell down. Oops, looks like you fell. Hello everyone, dear friends, and today we will play Pomni Zobby with you. Oh my god, just look at this location. She is so huge. I'm wondering how quickly we can get through it. So far we are still in the first stage and this game does not look difficult. I think we can complete it faster than anyone else. I wonder what awaits us at the end. It's very cool that they made a whole game for me. Just look how beautiful everything is here. They even made a statue of me on the left. She looks really cool. I think she looks pretty creepy. She watches our every move. It's pretty creepy. Do you see how creepy her look is? Those wide eyes look like she's afraid of us. My friend, I think you shouldn't have repeated the word creepy so many times. We all understood that you were scared. I don't think this statue looks creepy. She looks really cute, and she really does look a lot like Pomni. The main thing is that she doesn't start shooting lasers at us from her eyes or something like that. I wouldn't want her to stop us from going through this obby. We have already passed eight stages, and now we will find ourselves on the ninth. I wonder how many stages there are in total. Judging by the progress bar, there may be about 100 of these stages. Just look at this funny stretched face of our friend. Hey, Pomni. Do you like the way you are portrayed here? I think this looks very funny. Stop judging the creators of this map, Jax. They simply couldn't find a suitable photo of my face on the internet that could be stretched out like that. Anyway, I like what they did. This flatters me very much. Yes, I agree with her. It's a shame that no one made a map like this for me. I would really like to complete a map called Regatta Obby. I think that would be pretty cool. What about me? Just imagine how cool a map would look in which you have to go through a huge difficult obby and then also jump into my mouth. I think this would be the best map in all of Roblox. Well now we have a cool trail that comes straight from our back. 
It would be great if it speeded us up a little, but I don't think it works that way. Either way, at least it looks cool. Well, now let's run forward. We are still only at the 17th stage. We need to speed up a little in order to reach the finish line as quickly as possible. I completely agree with Zubel. There are still a huge number of tests ahead of us, but so far all the tests we are going through are very easy. We just almost fell. Well, now let's be more careful. Oh, just look. A task awaits us in which we need to guess the right path. I hope we can do it the first time. Uh, oh my god, I'm really pro at this game. Have you seen? I passed it the first time. I don't think anyone has managed to do this yet. I think it's time for me to take the superpower test. It seems to me that the only superpower that this test can reveal in you is super annoying and super stupid. You're a real pro at this. And in a task in which you need to guess the right path, you are simply lucky. Let's see how you perform on the next similar task. Come on, you don't even let me enjoy small victories. Well, okay, I agree. Let's see what happens on the next similar task where only luck rules. Even I was interested to see what would happen when Jax had to choose the right path next time. I hope that such a task will still be in this obby. Otherwise, we will never know who was really right. We've already gone through as many as 27 stages and that's only a quarter of this game. This obby is really very long. It seems to me that its creator did a really great job on it because there are a huge number of different tasks. Of course they are light, but nevertheless they are very interesting. I completely agree with you. I didn't think that any of my fans would be able to take the game he would create for me so seriously. I'm very pleased with this. Thank you very much to my beloved fans for creating games like this. I hope that someday they will create similar games for all of us and we will all go through them on our channel. The main thing is that it's not Jax who does it. I would like to complete the game about me myself. I really like the color scheme of this game. It's made in Pomni's colors. It really stands out. It seems to me that the creator of this game is truly a genius. Look, is it just me? Or is there a task ahead in which you need to guess the right path? Well, let's see how Jax handles this. With the first stick he guessed right, but with the second, unfortunately, failure. Well, Jax, you still want to try the superpower test in. Calm down, sometimes people make mistakes. But I was able to guess the correct path the second time. I think this is also worthy of respect. Well, I hope that I will no longer have to deal with such tasks because you pay too much attention to them. But I just hope that it will be the other way around so that we can see how you screw it up. Look, there is another task like this ahead. Now we will see how well your intuition works. I think the first one should be yellow. Okay, you decided to do the opposite and you were right. Well done, Jax. But this time you guessed wrong. It's good that the wrong paths don't kill us. They simply don't let us forward. It would be difficult to remember the entire correct route, wouldn't it? It remains to choose the last correct path, and I think that the correct one will be blue. But no, I was wrong. Okay, no big deal. In any case, we didn't spend much time in this test, and now we can move forward. By the way, we have already completed 43 stages, and that's more than half of this entire game. Who said that there are about 100 tasks here? I think this is a misconception. I just now started to notice that a large number of tests are sometimes repeated. It's very sad that the creators of this map didn't have enough imagination to make each of these tasks unique, but it seems to me that it would be very difficult. Therefore, there is nothing wrong with that. The game is quite interesting without it. I think you're expecting too much from this game. Buddy, it's just Obby. Here you just need to pass the tests. It seems to me that if new tasks were added here, it would be absolutely not in the style of Obby. So in any case, everything that has been done here looks very beautiful and cool. And it seems to me that nothing else needs to be added to this game. Huge statue of Pomni is getting closer and closer to us. I'm looking forward to when we reach the finish line of this game and find out what we will get for completely completing this obby. It would be great if there was a leaderboard here. It seems to me that we could definitely be on the list of record holders for this game. I really doubt it because in this game you can donate Robux to get various boosts. And it seems to me that there was definitely someone who had already donated Robux to this mode and completed the entire game using an airplane carpet or something like that. I think it's a little unfair when boosts can get you on the leaderboard. I think that we need to make two separate leaderboards in one of which there will be players who completed this map without using boosts, and in the second there will be those who donated to this game. It would be much fairer and more interesting. I think you're right! 
It would really be much more correct and honest. By the way, look, we are almost at the 60th stage. We have very little left. It seems to me that there are only 80 stages in this game, and I hope that we will be able to complete it as quickly as possible. I'm still very interested in what awaits us at the end of this game. It would be great if at the end of this game you would give us various boosts with which we can fly around the entire OBI and prevent other players from passing it. That would be really cool. And we could make these players hardcore in this game. But in fact, I'm glad that no one stopped us from playing this game, and we completed it very quickly. There are only a few tests left to go through, and we will go straight to the Pomni's mouth. Great! And here's the last one. We are already at the finish line. Just look at her funny face. Why is she so sad? I think she's not very happy that she has to eat little Roblox players. Well, it's good that we managed to beat this game. Now, let's climb this spiral staircase to the secret room where our prize awaits us. And here is the staircase to the top. Well, now we will find out what really awaits us. Oh, just look. This room is full of boosts. Do you know what this means? This means that now we are going to stop little players from completing this game to the end with the help of this magic carpet. Cool. I am very happy about it. And here is our first victim. Hey, buddy, do you really want to beat this game? Well, then you will have to try, little, because I am here to stop you. Sorry. Am I disturbing you too much? Oh, no. I think you fell. What? Here comes another player. Hey, buddy, maybe I can help you a little? I'm ready to add a little rainbow here. Maybe she will speed you up. I think we added too much rainbow and he fell down. Well, let's now stop the third person from completing this obby to the end. Buddy, look. Looks like it rained recently and the sun came out. Now there's a rainbow all around. I hope she doesn't bother you too much. It seems to me that it will be very difficult for you to jump over these balls if someone interferes with you, right? Oops. Looks like you fell. Well, let's move on to the next game. Um, bro, are you serious? Maybe you should increase your speed a little. Buddy, maybe you will finally press the speed up button and we will go up as soon as possible. I would really like to take revenge on this guy and throw him down. Look, we managed to throw this guy down. Ha ha! You got yours, noob! Now try to get to the finish line on foot. This is the same exit room that Pomni was talking about. Guys, this is absolute- These are digital hallucinations! Is this the Gloink Queen? Why didn't I notice her last time? She looks pretty creepy. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play with you again in Lifting Carts. Last time I really liked this game. Even though it's quite simple, it's a lot of fun. Well, let's quickly choose a cart in which we will go upstairs and go straight to the Pomni's mouth. It's very strange that in this game I have to eat all the carts that are sent here. I would like the carts to come to my palm. I would take them to the obby test. It would be much more humane. We've already talked about this a million times. This is Roblox. There is no logic in it. You may not be surprised by what's happening here. In general, the strangest thing here is that they added a railway to our circus. We don't have a railway. Is this the Gloink Queen? Why didn't I notice her last time? She looks pretty creepy. It's strange that she is on the first floor of our circus and not in her nest underground. It usually hardly comes to the surface. Maybe the creators of this map didn't watch the pilot episode of our series. Okay, it doesn't matter. Look, there's some kind of cart ahead. She drives very slowly. It seems to me that the person sitting in this cart will slow us down very much. Um, bro, are you serious? Maybe you should increase your speed a little. We'll be driving like this until tomorrow evening. It looks like this will go on forever. Lord, there are still a huge number of floors. Will we really be driving at such a low speed all this time? Buddy, maybe you will finally press the speed up button and we will go up as soon as possible. It really takes forever! Wait, what? Oh my god! Because of this idiot, now half of our cart is hanging over the abyss! I hope we don't fall down because he decided to drive very slowly. I would really like to take revenge on this guy and throw him down! I hope so, too. This guy is really an idiot because he drives very slowly. Imagine what would happen if there were a few more carts behind us. Everyone had to arrive slowly just because of this guy. I think we definitely need to teach him a lesson. The saddest thing is that this stupid guy chose my skin. I'm very ashamed that such idiots play as my character in this game. I think he needs to use the Kingler skin. His playstyle suits this character better. You are very mistaken. Actually, I really like high speed. 
And in this game, I would increase the speed as much as possible in order to complete this game as quickly as possible. This is a very dangerous turn and we could fall now. No, look, we managed to throw this guy down. Ha ha! You got yours, noob! Now try to get to the finish line on foot and we can finally increase the speed and get to the finish line faster than anyone else. It finally happened! I'm really glad this guy has to go through it all over again. I hope he won't interfere with any of the other players and won't drive at such a low speed, but will learn his lesson and increase it to go through this railroad faster. It's great that we managed to throw this guy down, but we still have one problem. Our cart is still half hanging over the abyss and we can fall at any minute. I think we need to regulate the speed very competently to prevent this from happening. I really hope this doesn't happen. Oh no, we're stuck. We need to drive back a little and then add speed and rush forward with all our strength in order to pass this place at high speed. Well, let's try to do this. First, we need to drive back in order to gain acceleration. Great, we were able to do it. I hope that there will be no more such obstacles on our way. At least we just have to go this straight path without climbing. I really hope that nothing else can stop us and we can get to the end. The main thing is not to forget to reduce the speed of the cart when turning. Otherwise, we may fly down at high speed. Don't forget that half of our cart hangs over the abyss. So we have no chance for mistake. Only a few left. This railway is not so difficult because there are no climbs. Of all the difficulties, the only thing left is the turns where we need to remember to adjust the speed. By the way, have you seen how this cart works? At the bottom of this cart, there are two pins that fix it between the rails. And because we jumped out, now these two pins wrap around the rail. It's interesting. It would be great if we could... Wait, are we stuck again? Why is this obstacle located right at the turn? It is very dangerous to gain high speed here. Well, let's use the same method to overcome this obstacle. To do this, we first need to drive back and then pick up more speed and go forward. I hope that we will not fly off this railway into the abyss. Great! We managed to do it. It was very scary, but I'm glad we were able to do it. There's only a small part of the way left to get to the end. Just a few turns separate us from the finish line. It will be a shame if we fall down right next to her mouth. By the way, look. This is the same exit room that Pomni was talking about. Maybe she wasn't lying to us when she said she saw her. It is very strange. I need to find out what's behind that door. Guys, this is absolute- These are digital hallucinations. Do not succumb to digital hallucinations. Otherwise, you will be taken away by your nest of Gloinks, and you will be eaten by the queen of Gloinks and turn into Gloinks. It seems to me that you repeated the word Gloinks too little. Perhaps this is why we are stuck in one place. It's good that we managed to overcome this obstacle, and now we are at the finish line. All we have to do is climb this railway, and we will pass this test with the cart. Every time we go up, this cart starts to wobble very terribly. I hope that nothing bad will happen and we will rise to the top without falling down. Great! We did it! Well, I'm very glad that we were able to do it again the first time. Now we need to pass this easiest obby and we will have the opportunity to take advantage of all the boosts of this game. This is a very cool gift, I think. This obby is really very light. It feels like it was made specifically for children who don't yet know how to pass the cool, super difficult obbies. Well, I think we can do it very quickly. I'm looking forward to when we reach the finish line and get the opportunity to use boosts. It would be really cool if we could use boosts in the place where everyone is trying to ride carts. We could interfere with everyone who is trying to complete this game. That would be a lot of fun. I would push everyone down at the very finish line so that they would have to go through the whole difficult path again. You are a real sadist, Kingler. I think this is too cruel. Just imagine if at this moment some little child is playing this game who really wants to complete this game to the end, and then at one moment some adult begins to prevent him from doing this. I think this is too cruel. But I think it's very funny. Just imagine how funny this child will scream and swear! You guys are both too cruel! By the way, Jax, look, this is your little copy. He looks exactly like you, but very small. Okay, let's take a selfie for memory. Let's choose a suitable angle and move on. Well, now I have a photo of myself. This is very cool. There is nothing complicated about this obby. I just move forward and that's it. They really should spice up this obby a bit. Yes! I think it would be great if they increased the distance between the platforms a little. 
It would actually make this game a little harder, or it would be even more difficult if they did. So after death, you go back to the very beginning, where you have to get into the cart. Then this game would be really hardcore. It would also be very cool if they added some moving platforms or platforms that need to be activated using buttons. This would really make the game much cooler than it actually is. Wait, Jax. Just don't tell me that all this time we had boosts in our inventory in the form of an accelerating spiral and a regatta doll. Seriously? Didn't we notice this? We could go through this map much faster with the help of this spiral. But now we know that we have it. But I wouldn't use it on this spiral rainbow staircase because because of this spiral we can fall from it if we take one careless step. So it's better to go upstairs in the usual way. Yes, I also think that it would be a very smart decision if we don't use a spiral when climbing up. The main thing is to hold the regatta doll in your hands. We will consider this to be our talisman. I remember that first, we need to go into the red arch, then into the yellow one, then again into the yellow one, after that again into the yellow one, and the last one is red, and then we will definitely pass. While you were telling all this, we have already completed all these arcs, and now we have a few final tests left. I think after we jump over all these platforms, we can use the spiral to get to the finish line faster. It was very easy. We completed this game to the end. Now let's move on to the next game. And here comes the fire duck! Now we have a fire duck that quacks. This bro is really waiting for us to come out to attack us. This guy is too stupid. I think we moved quite far away so that he wouldn't kill us. Oh. Hello, Mr. Pumpkinhead. What floor are you going to? Hooray! We made it! We received some kind of award. It looks like some kind of winner's cup! It's called a trophy! Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will play Roblox Strange Elevator again. Little cute cow? What is she doing on this floor? I wonder if we should be afraid of her or not. I can't imagine how anyone could be afraid of such a small cow. Just look at her! Wait, what? Why did she turn into this? I think we need to step aside. Looks like we didn't make it in time. Well, this floor turned out to be not the most successful for us. Let's try again. I hope this will be an interesting floor. What is this? Completely dark room? They found some eggs there in the distance. We won't have time to pick them up. Well, okay. Looks like that's all there was on this floor. I think we can move on to the next one. I hope there will be something interesting on this floor. It's TV Man. I think we need to hide from him somewhere in this location. I wonder if there is any interesting loot here that we can take with us. It seems to me that we won't find anything interesting here because this location is very empty. Well, let's just hide from him so that he definitely doesn't kill us. Just look how big this location is! Great! We teleported back into the elevator! Well, let's move on to the next floor. We haven't come across a single interesting floor in this game yet. It looks like some kind of baseball field or something. Okay, just look, we have weapons. It seems to me that now we need to shoot at everyone who is here and defeat them. We need to be alone in this game. You killed that guy and that girl standing there? Great, well done. All that remains is to kill all those who are in the elevator and then we will definitely be left alone in this game. It seems to me that our shells don't reach there. Oh wait, someone killed them. Look, who is this? We need to kill her. And that guy who stayed inside the elevator too. Great, we're left alone. We beat all these guys. It was pretty easy to win. I hope that this gun will remain with us in the future. I would really like for us to have such cool, deadly weapons in this game. It could defeat many enemies that would come our way. This location looks like the surface of some planet. Meteorites begin to fall from the sky. We need to find a safe place where not a single meteorite will fall on us. How did we even get into space on the elevator? I don't understand it a bit. But every time I remember that there is no logic in Roblox and I stop asking this question. How long it will be going on? Great! It's finally over and now we're heading to the next floor. I hope the next floor will be less pointless than this one. Red Tunnel? Look! Who is this? It's Pennywise? Buddy, I think you went a little in the wrong direction. Maybe he's hiding in this corner and thinks we didn't notice him. This bro is really waiting for us to come out to attack us. This guy is too stupid. Let's try to get out a little. Maybe he is aggressive towards us? No, that didn't happen. Well, this floor was just as pointless as the previous one. Let's go to the next one. We're on the next floor. It looks like some kind of room. Look, this is a funny caracol. Is this his room? She looks like this is the house from Weird Strict Dad. He has a pretty cool room. I like her very much. Wait, does he kill everyone who is in the elevator? 
We definitely can't get back into the elevator, otherwise he'll kill us along with everyone else. Oh no, the game teleported us back and this bro stayed here. Did he really kill us? This is the worst bug in this game. Why would this guy even run inside the elevator? Well, I hope there won't be such bugs on the next floor. Just look, on this floor ducks are falling from the sky. They wrote to us in the comments under the last video that we need to look for the fire duck and it will remain in our inventory. Well, let's keep a close eye on all the ducks that will fall down. We definitely need to take the fire duck with us. And here comes the fire duck. No one noticed her and we took her first. Cool. Now we have a fire duck that quacks. I think this is the best reward that could ever be picked up. Why doesn't every floor have some cool rewards? I wish we could have this fire duck forever. Maybe there will be something really interesting in the next floors. Oh no! Just don't, Obby. I remember how we tried to pass this Obby last time and we didn't succeed. Well, maybe this time Jax will try a little harder and we can still get through this Obby to the end. I'd love to see what we get at the end. Maybe it will also be some kind of cool reward, like a fire duck or something like that. I will try very hard to pass this obby, because I also really want to see what is at the very top. Maybe this time we will actually be able to complete it to the end. I hope that the fire duck will help us as a mascot, and with its help we will really be able to complete this obby to the end. Well, we fell once, but I think it's not a problem, because we can move on after losing a little HP. You need to try really hard to reach the very top this time. I'm sure there will be some kind of reward waiting for us there. Oh no, we have very little HP left. You need to try very hard and swim across to this ladder in order to climb to the very top. Hooray, we made it. We received some kind of award. Well, let's go back to the elevator and see what they gave us. It looks like some kind of winner's cup. It's called a trophy. Every time we take it out of inventory, we jump and the sound of a screaming crowd is heard. This is a truly worthwhile reward. I'm very glad that we received it. Oh no! A lot of garbage is starting to fall out of this door on us. I hope he doesn't crush us. I'm very afraid of losing all the awards we received. We urgently need to climb to the very top of this garbage mountain and stay there until the very end of this floor. It's finally over. I really hope that the next floor will be something new for us. We have already seen a large number of floors in this game, and some of them are repeated. And this is the same floor with the hot dog. We've already seen it. I remember this guy on the right exploded on this level. We too can receive a reward as soon as the invisible barrier disappears. We need to run as quickly as possible to the sausages that will fall out of this guy. Looks like someone beat us to it and collected this reward earlier. That we have two awards and they are very cool. And this hot dog is complete nonsense. So it's very cool that we have these cool awards in the form of a duck and a trophy. Oh no, it's that same pumpkin guy. We urgently need to run out of this elevator and escape from there as quickly as possible. I remember that last time this guy went into the elevator and killed everyone who was inside, so let's stay at the safest possible distance so that he doesn't kill us and we don't lose all these rewards that we received. I think we moved quite far away so that he wouldn't kill us. It's unlikely he'll follow us directly. Look, I think he's starting to get into the elevator. Why didn't anyone come out from there? He will now kill everyone who is inside, and they will lose everything they have accumulated. Oh. Hello, Mr. Pumpkinhead. What floor are you going to? I'll press the button for you. It's not difficult for me. The main thing is don't kill me. I still have a lot of awards in my inventory. Look, this is the location with Mr. Jigglypuff. I remember that you can't get close to him either. Last time he killed us when we got too close to him. Well, I hope nothing bad happens to us. I think we've moved to a pretty safe distance. Wait, did he teleport us into the elevator and kill us? Oh my god, how did this happen? Why did he eat us through the door? Oh no, we lost all the awards. I'm very sad about this. Let's go play the next game. Let's push her into this basement and close this door. I think she'll be very surprised when she wakes up and finds herself here. Look, is it just me or have I now become like the Gloinky Queen? Who is this guy? Perhaps these are the ghosts of the children this grandmother ever killed. It looks like Grandma called her friends. Hello, everyone, guys, and today we will run away from the grumpy granny's house. This house looks like a haunted house and not some grandma's house. It's very strange that she lives here. On the left, we have the tasks we need to do. It says that we need to find grandma's cookies. It's logical that we need to find a kitchen in this house. This door looks like a kitchen door. Great, this is it. Look, there are cookies on the table. Oh, no. Granny found us and is now running after us. 
urgently need to get away from her. Actually, our assignment says that we need to find the key to the attic, and it seems to me that we found it right in this room where this grandmother came from. Well, now let's quickly go to the attic before she catches up with us. This granny is really quite fast, but she is breathing very heavily while running after us. Look, she has a lift to the second floor. She's so funny when she goes upstairs. I remember that the door to the attic was here somewhere. Look, here she comes. Great. Now we'll escape from this granny through the attic. She has some strange holes with spikes in her attic. Why does she need an obstacle course in the attic? I can't understand this. What? Stairs up? Does she have a double loft? Wait for her to have a whole floor above. But why does she live in a four-story house with a two-story attic? This house must be very expensive, and it looks like a homeless person died in it. I'm more interested in why she set traps in her attic. Usually they leave something like mouse traps in the attic. Maybe she's fighting some giant rats with these traps. She also pulled up barricades with barbed wire. This granny definitely has problems with her head. She's crazy. Great! We got out into the yard. Wait, did you hear her voice? Oh no, it's grandma. I thought we would just jump over the fence and be free, but now we need to look for another way out. Have we really jumped into the grave now? Wait, can you hear this skull snoring? These sounds are very cute. We actually play Roblox so often that we don't think the snoring skull is amazing. I think we're starting to slowly go crazy. No, I think we'll start going crazy if we keep playing favorite Pomni's games where we need to squeeze pimples and pull poop out of butts. Yes, we will definitely go crazy. But we will go crazy with happiness. Because these games are the most interesting of all the ones we play. I just love them. Oh my god, I'm wondering what will happen first. Will you and Pomni grow up, or will these games be banned all over the world? It seems to me that it is neither one nor the other. Well look, we are climbing some strange spiral staircase from these catacombs. This is strange because I don't remember any kind of castle or something like that in her yard. Was it really Grandma who built this dungeon herself? This place is really very scary. There are a lot of skulls and other scary things here. It looks like this door leads to some kind of labyrinth. Just look! Who is this guy? I think he looks a lot like a zombie. He's not alone here. There are a lot of them here. Perhaps these are the ghosts of the children this grandmother ever killed. It seems to me that this is true. Did this grandmother really kill so many children? Well, I think we need to run after this girl. She knows exactly how to get out of this place. Look, we are going up some stairs. I wonder where we will get out. It looks like some kind of well. Great. We're in the backyard of her house. Now we need to find a way out. Not this! I hear that grandma again, and here she is. Why does she always run after us? I think we need to go where she came from. There we will definitely find a way out of this place. This is again the door to some basement. Why do we constantly run away from it underground? I think we should just jump over her fence and escape from this damn area. In her basement, there is a huge abyss with a lot of thorns. I am more and more surprised by its modern renovation, if you can call it that. I hope that we will quickly escape from this house because this grandmother killed a huge number of children. I don't want us to become one of those kids. Let's quickly climb these stairs. I wonder what awaits us behind this door. Wait, there's some kind of leaderboard here and motorcycles? What are these motorcycles doing here? Are we really going to ride them on some strange route now? Um, this is quite strange, but very, very cool. Where did this grandmother get so much money to build such a huge house with catacombs, a two-story attic, a huge basement with an abyss with spikes, and a giant motorcycle track? Is this grandma a millionaire maniac? To be honest, I can't find an explanation for this. But the only theory I can imagine is that the grandmother kills children in order to sell them in parts. This theory certainly sounds very creepy, but I can't find any other explanation for the fact that she has such a rich and huge house. Well, the motorcycle race is over, and now we find ourselves in a huge room. Wait, what is this? Oh, this reminds me of the hallway with the huge slanting boulder in Barry's prison break. Well, they decided to put this task in this game too. They redesigned it a bit. It actually looks a lot cooler. At least there are colorful balls here. Yes, I also really like the fact that they borrowed this particular task from Barry's prison break. Of course, they could have chosen something more fun, but in any case, this task is also pretty good. Well, we passed it, and now we got out into the grandmother's huge yard. 
Look, there are some weapons in the very center. Let's take it quickly and most likely the final boss fight awaits us now. I don't see anyone yet. All I noticed was the sounds of Grandma. Oh, look, one of them came down from the wall. It looks like Grandma called her friends, and now they're all going to attack me together. Well, I play shooters very well, and therefore I think that it will not be difficult for me to defeat all these grannies. Keep up the good work, Jax. You've already defeated half of the grannies. They move quite quickly, and you need to constantly look around you so that none of the grannies gets close enough to you. It shouldn't be that hard. Last granny left. Great, Jax. You did it. Well done. Well, let's go up that treehouse now. It seems to me that this should be the final point of escape from this grandmother. I'm very interested in what awaits us there. How did we get here? Well, we have to go down. Look, there are some cookies on the table here. Let's eat them. Maybe they will give us something? No, all they gave us was a funny reflection in the glass of this jar. Look, is it just me or have I now become like the Gloinky Queen? I'm as big and ugly as her. We got a super jump and a motorcycle and we found a location where the old woman who chased us down to the basement is still standing. It looks like she fell asleep. Let's push her into this basement and close this door. I think she'll be very surprised when she wakes up and finds herself here. Yeah, more let's rename our channel to Pranks on Roblox. This must be very funny. If anything, it was sarcasm. Well, let's finally move on to the next game. Have you ever noticed that this dungeon is very similar to my cave, guys? How the hell did you get on our server? What do you even need? You sick old bitch! Give us back our old voices. Today, I want Jax to complete this prison in 550 seconds. Um, maybe we have some other way to fix the situation. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we are going through the Barry Water Prison again. Today, we will try to set a new record. Last time, we managed to beat this game pretty quickly. I hope that this time, Jax, you will do it even faster. Just look at how hard he tries. He has already pressed the button, and not even 20 seconds have passed. I think he can set a record today. Wow, he's almost ventilating. He's really trying really hard to beat this game today. Well, let's see what he can do. Damn! This berry spawned too close to the button, and now I have to wait until he floats away from it so that I can calmly drive up to it and press it. Come on, Jax! This is your chance! Damn, pressing this button is really quite difficult. Sometimes it happens that because of a bug in this game, it is very difficult for you to press this button. Can you stop talking confusing nonsense and talk in normal sentences? By now I understood what you wanted to say. I broke my brain three times. Stop arguing, guys. Well, our passage of this map was a little more complicated due to the fact that Barry spawned unsuccessfully. I hope this doesn't affect our final result too much. Yes, I really hope so too. So don't open other toilet stalls now. We need to open the second one because we know that it contains a tunnel to a huge dungeon. Have you ever noticed that this dungeon is very similar to my cave, guys? I think you should stop climbing all sorts of dungeons because you really annoy me with this. How the hell did you get on our server? What do you even need? Do you really still not understand what I need? Guys, have you noticed anything strange with yourself lately? Are you talking about those moments when we started to lag and our webcams looked like glitches? It seemed to us that this was happening because of that strange game that we downloaded. I'm talking about playing with that purple big-eyed guy. No, Kane, you're wrong. This happened because you have not let me and the Gloins out of our nest for four months. We haven't seen the light for a long time. Maybe you should finally come down to us and do something about this. It seems to me that this is the most idiotic idea that could ever be proposed. Well, I wasn't happy to hear from you. Bye-bye, Queen of the Gloinks. Hope to not see you soon. Wait, what? You can't just kick me out. What? She said I can't just kick her out of here? Ha ha. As much as I can, continue to sit in your dark basement. I hope you never get out of there. Guys! I think something is happening to me! I really don't like it. It looks like we shouldn't have kicked Gloink's Queen out of here. Oh no! What is happening to me? Before that, only my face changed, but now my voice has also changed. Lord, what should I do with this now? I can't imagine how I should talk further. Guys, let's don't panic. We will definitely find a way out of this nightmare situation. Oh my god, she's calling us again right now. Be quiet. Let's listen to what she tells us. Well, do you guys like your new voices? Are you satisfied with what you did? You sick old bitch. Give us back our old voices. 
Otherwise, I'll go down to your basement, and I won't set a digitized cough mo on you, like I did four months ago when I first appeared at the circus. Stop threatening me, darling. Better yet, just listen to my demands. So today, I want Jax to complete this prison in 550 seconds. If it lingers for even one second, these voices will stay with you forever. Um, I certainly love Jax very much, and I know that he plays great games. But maybe we have some other way to fix the situation. For example, a way in which Jax won't have to set new records. Don't even hope. I will come here in exactly 330 seconds, and if I see that you are still completing this game, I will never give you your votes back. Well, good luck. I hope you have a lot of faith in your friend. Well, it looks like our voices are now in Jax's hands. I couldn't even think that such a terrible situation would ever happen to me. I hope that you really won't let us down. Otherwise, in addition to your voice, I will also change your eternal smile by knocking out a few teeth from it. Guys, maybe you will stop putting pressure on me. I'm really not very happy that I now have to save the voice of each of you. This is indeed a very big responsibility, so just try to support me and stop insulting and scaring me. I totally agree with Jax. Stop saying bad things about him. He was now simply a hostage to the situation. I think right now the best thing we can do is give him the maximum support we can. Well, I really hope he can do it. Otherwise, we simply will not be able to film our series further. I really can't communicate in the series with such an ugly voice. Guys, no need to panic. Last time we managed to complete the Berry Water Prison in less than 550 seconds. And this time, I think we will be able to cope even faster because we have already completed this game once. And we know what needs to be done in it. I'm also sure that Jax will be able to do this pretty quickly. Look. We just completed the fan run, and now we're heading to this huge wind tunnel. The main thing is that Jax does not forget to press the jump button in time, so as not to fall down and waste time. He managed to do it. Cool. Now we are waiting for a boss fight with the boss cook, and then we will need to overcome only a few tasks before the final battle. So far, we're getting through it all pretty quickly. Jax, the main thing is don't forget to shoot him right in the head. This causes him to take a lot more damage. Just look! And you hit him only twice, and have already dealt him a quarter of his full HP reserve. Don't stop Jax! The main thing is don't let him come near you. Just shoot at him and swim to a safe distance so that he doesn't kill you. Guys, I'm trying to hit it, but sometimes it doesn't take damage. Well, great! I passed this. Now I need to run to this slide as quickly as possible and slide down it. Now we are waiting for a test with lasers, after which we will need to install bridges. I hope that I can do this as quickly as possible. Oh my god! I completely forgot that in this water prison, in the test with lasers, it is difficult to control due to the fact that we have to swim. Well, I hope this doesn't stop you from completing this level. Otherwise, if you need more than one try, we definitely won't be able to complete this entire game in 550 seconds, and we'll have to talk in these idiotic voices for the rest of our days. Kane, I think you yourself asked us not to scare Jax. In any case, he's already passed this test and he's almost at the finish line. There's only one challenge left before the final boss fight. Just look! He didn't forget to use a life hack and resets all the bridges down at once. Oh, that was a truly professional moment. He did not let go of the third board, but immediately placed it. This is very smart. Well done, Jax. You only have 500 seconds left to defeat the final boss. I think you miscalculated a little and wanted to say 50 seconds. Well, that's enough for me. I remember that this boss has very little HP. The main thing now is not to let him kill us. Guys, I'm here again, and wow, you're already at the final test. Well, I really advise you to hurry up, Jax. You only have 30 seconds left, and the boss still has a lot of health. Hurry up, buddy! Otherwise we will be stuck with these voices forever! I'm sure you can do it! We don't have much time left! Guys, I just beg you to shut up. There are only a couple of shots left. Come on, Jax! Just a couple of shots left! Great! Well done! You did it! Well, you old put to give us back our voices! Okay, okay, here are your old voices. Thanks, bitch. Just look! It's me again! It's very nice that the creators of this map leave so many Easter eggs with me. They chose your character because he is the most inconspicuous. I really hope that we won't get stuck anywhere else and we'll still be able to get to the end. I think you shouldn't have said this because this is what happened right now! 
Yes, we're stuck! Just look! This guy got out of the cart and decided to continue on foot. I really feel sorry for that guy, and I even feel a little guilty. This guy flew in and stood right in our path. Oh no, he knocked us down a little. Hello everyone, friends, and today we, together with Pomni, will be climbing up on this cart. Wait, the whole point of the game is just to ride this cart along these rails and try to get to the very end. You're absolutely right, Jax. But at the end of this game, some gift awaits us. It is drawn on top of the progress bar, and I really want to receive this gift. So I really want to complete this game to the end. Well... Okay, and here you need to... How do you control this cart? I just still don't quite understand the rules of this game. Yes, here you can start it, stop it, and adjust its speed. And you can also adjust its direction. It seems to me that you cannot use these buttons, but simply remove them from the keyboard and drive forward. No, because if you pick up a high enough speed, your cart may fly off this road straight down and you will have to start the race again. Wow, Bubble. Have you already played this game? You know so much about her. I've never seen this mode in Roblox before. Just look! There are digitized characters down there. It seems to me that we definitely shouldn't fall down there because they might attack us and digitize us. Is it just me, or did I see the Gloink Queen below? Oh no! I definitely don't want to fall down there! Let's just drive forward carefully, Pomni, and try to get through this to the end today. This game reminded me of another game that is very similar to this one. I played it when I was a child. It is called Roller Coaster Tycoon. It's a classic management simulation game where players are tasked with building and managing their own theme park. Players can construct and design roller coaster rides, manage staff and finances, and cater to the needs of their visitors. It's a lighthearted and fun game where players essentially get to be the boss of the amusement park and call the shots. There are various modes and difficulties to choose from, making this game an enjoyable and accessible experience. I wouldn't say that this game is similar to the one you're talking about. Rather, she looks like No Limits 2. It's a fairly realistic and immersive simulation game where players can design and build thrilling roller coaster rides. Players have complete control over the design of the roller coaster, including the layout, speed, and terrain. You can create your own unique roller coaster and then take a seat in the first-person view to experience the adrenaline-inducing journey firsthand. I don't even understand why you call these games! After all, you need to build a roller coaster in them, but here, we only need to drive forward and control the cart! Judging by the progress bar above, we are already halfway through this game, which means that I think that we will reach the final reward very soon. Okay, let's just drive and try not to fall down. Look, some guy got out of the cart and decided to walk. Oh, he fell! I'm so sorry for this guy. Well, let's just drive forward. I hope we don't have the same fate as him. Look, there's a little Jax up ahead. Wait, what? This guy flew in and stood right in our path. Oh no, he knocked us down a little, and now our cart is not riding correctly on these rails. This is very bad. Guys, I think you should level your cart a little so we can move on normally, because otherwise we might fall down and have to go all this way again. Well, we're moving forward, but just look at this cart. It feels like she's about to fall down at the next turn. We have half the cart hanging over the abyss. It's good that there are no climbs or sharp turns ahead. An almost straight road awaits us to the very finish. I really hope the flying guy doesn't appear again and drop us to the bottom. I'm very scared to watch this cart ride halfway on the rails. It feels like she's about to fall down. I really wouldn't want us to fall down now because we've been climbing up here for quite a long time. The rails ahead of us seem quite uneven. Oh no, looks like we're stuck. Let's try to increase the speed of this cart a little, or move back, and then try to drive forward. Another cart is approaching behind us. She may now collide with us. I hope this doesn't happen. Oh no, I think he's stuck too. What should we do now? Oh, it looks like he pushed us through. Well, now this guy's cart also doesn't run correctly on the rails. Well, I hope that we can get to the finish line together. Looks like he's stuck too. Sorry, guy. We can't help you because we're driving ahead of you. There's no way we can push you forward. Just look! This guy got out of the cart and decided to continue on foot. I really feel sorry for that guy and I even feel a little guilty. But I really hope that he will be able to reach the finish line on foot. One can only envy his determination to win. Okay, we only have a few turns left until the finish. I really hope that we won't get stuck anywhere else and we'll still be able to get to the end. I think you shouldn't have said this because this is what happened right now. Yes, we're stuck! The cart doesn't want to go either backwards or forwards. 
I hope that we will still be able to push it through somehow because we are just one turn away from the finish. Why did the cart decide to get stuck here? Well, we drove back a little, picked up speed, and now we'll try to accelerate through this place. Great! We did it! We're right near the finish line. I really hope that we won't fall off these rails while we climb up. Just look at how this cart rocks from side to side. It's like those videos on the internet where guys on motorcycles start to lose control and their handlebars start to spin randomly left to right. Seriously? Is this our gift? A long, boring obby that doesn't require any effort at all? I thought it would be something different. Maybe some cool skin or jetpack or the ability to super jump. Don't be angry, Regatta. They promised this gift at the end of the obby. I think it won't be difficult for us to get through this obby to the end. It's made for kids. I really hope that they really won't deceive us and will give us gifts at the very end. We have come a very long way to get to the end of this map. I can't say that it was very difficult, but there were still difficulties. Well, this doesn't even feel like a test. It's pretty easy. Riding this cart when strange flying guys are bothering you was much more difficult than jumping on these platforms. We went through obby and more difficult ones. Just look! It's me again! It's very nice that the creators of this map leave so many Easter eggs with me. Maybe I'm their favorite character. Don't flatter yourself, Jax. They chose your character because he is the most inconspicuous and would be perfect as an Easter egg. We are very close to the finish line. Just look! Now we need to go down into this guy's mouth. Okay, well, this obby is pretty simple. I don't know why they made it so easy, but we still have to go through it. I thought that our tests would end immediately after the roller coaster. We are almost at the very end. Now we need to choose the right doors and not die. Oh no, on the first try, we chose the wrong one. Wait, where is our skin? Why was our skin taken from us? This is unfair. So now we have to go through this game with the default skin. Okay, it's good that we don't have many tests left. We just need to walk a little and we will be at the finish line. Great! We guessed all the passages correctly. Well, let's now go through the remaining tests and see what gift this game has prepared for us. Here are the final tests. We just need to slide down this slide. Just look! What a huge Ferris wheel they installed here. Great! At this location, we will be given the opportunity to change our speed, add a super jump, and the ability to fly? This is very cool. Let's test it all and move on to the next game. Just look! It's some kind of creepy pig in a dress. Oh no, wait! Something is happening to us. This strange girl appeared, and now we are starting to lag. Just look at this guy. His hair looks like a lollipop that fell on the carpet and is now covered in hair. Maybe if we offer you pizza, will you leave us? But it looks like not. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Hellish Elevator again. This elevator looks a little different. It's different from the elevators we played last time. Oh my god! What are those loud noises? What's going on here anyway? This is some kind of floor with an incomprehensible green house. Why is everyone running around it and not going inside? What's going on inside this house? So far, everything that happens in this game seems too chaotic to me. Okay, I think we should get back in the elevator and head to the next floor. Perhaps there will be something interesting there. Well, okay, we have arrived to the next floor. It looks like some kind of barn. It's very dark here and you can't see anything. I wonder what awaits us in this barn. Just look, it's some kind of creepy pig in a dress. She really wants to kill us. Why is she here? She opened some kind of portal. I wouldn't be in a rush to go straight to it. Do you really want to try to get to the second floor? It seems to me that it is impossible to get there. There is an invisible texture there. Well, let's go to the portal and see what awaits us on the other side of this portal. Yes, I completely agree with the bubble. Let's go there. Oh, this is some kind of white room with pink light. Wait, what? This pig killed us? Oh no, not this. Okay, we're back at spawn. Okay. First attempt to ride the elevator was unsuccessful. Well, I think we need to go there again to look at the remaining floors. We ended up in the same barn again. I think we should now run into that portal and try to avoid the pig again. Are you sure you want to go down there? This pig is quite strange. I think she runs very fast. Just look how she fights with everyone. Great! We're back in the elevator. Well, this time we managed to avoid the pig. Let's try to wait for the next floor. Great! We've arrived on the next floor. Look, there are some huge buildings here. It looks like aliens are sitting here. What is this red button? Maybe it's worth stepping on it there? Yes, let's try to step on this button and see what happens. I think some glass broke. Oh, look, we freed the aliens and now they are running after the rest of the guys. Well, it looks like we did it in vain. These aliens are so fast. We urgently need to run in the other direction from them. 
Wait, what is this light? Oh no! We were killed by this UFO! Where did it even come from? Did we also free him? Okay, now we're at spawn and let's get back into the elevator. Oh, what's going on here? Did this UFO try to fly right into our elevator? Well, let's get up and try to get out of this elevator again. Perhaps we can find something more interesting in this location. The main thing is to hurry up so that this UFO doesn't catch us. By the way, where did the aliens go? I do not see them. In fact, I don't know where they went, but I'm sure that we won't find anything interesting on this map. Look, we're back in the elevator again. Cool. Let's go to the next floor. Great! We're on the next floor! Wait, what is this? Clown! Is he in the sewer? Oh no, he took out a knife! Now he will kill us! We have time to prepare and hide from him! But I think I have a better idea. Let's just go where he went. I think this will be pretty fun, don't you? I've never heard anything more stupid in my life, but this is Roblox. There is no logic here. So just let's go forward. Look, there are three paths and some kind of fire in the middle. Maybe we should go into one of these tunnels? There is some kind of invisible wall in this tunnel. Maybe it won't be in the other tunnel. Well, it seems to me that she is there too. Okay, let's try to go back. Oh no! There's a steel grill here. Wait, I see him. It's him. I think we should try to escape from him. Oh no, he started running. He killed some girl. Oh no, he's running after us now. Oh no, he killed us. I don't understand where we were supposed to run. It's a confined space here and this clown is very fast. Well, we're back at spawn. Let's buy something in this store. We have accumulated quite a large number of coins. Maybe we should buy some kind of spiral or something like that. Great. We bought a lot of different things, but I don't know how they can help us. Well, let's go to the elevator again. Look at some purple tunnel here. It is very beautiful in here. I hope no one will scare us here. Oh, no, wait. Something is happening to us. This strange girl appeared, and now we are starting to lag. This happened recently. Maybe if we offer you pizza, will you leave us? But it looks like not. Okay, wait, have we lost all our loot? Is it because we lie? I think something really strange is going on here. Do you remember this already happened to us when we played Minecraft? It's happening again. Well, okay, we're in the elevator again. Let's see what the next floor has in store for us. Just look, there is some kind of corridor and a very creepy guy. Did he go into this portal? Let's go after him. We urgently need to catch up with him. I didn't understand half the words due to lags, but the main essence remained clear to me. Why are we here and just look? This is some very strange place. For some reason this guy is standing near this pyramid. What should we expect from him? It seems to me that we can only wait for the moment when it moves. By the way, he turned in our direction and now he came closer to us. Oh no, our lights have gone out. Damn, what should we do? I cannot see anything. It's too dark in here. Looks like this guy is going to chase us in the dark. And no, look, there's a red light here. But this does not mean that it will be easier for us to pass this floor. We will again need to run away from some mad maniac with a knife. Just look! He has already killed someone and is running towards us. We urgently need to hide behind one of these columns. Oh wait! Is this the end? Great! This level is over. We're in the elevator again. Just look at this guy. His hair looks like a lollipop that fell on the carpet and is now covered in hair. Well, okay. Let's wait for the next level. This location looks pretty familiar to me. It seems to me that they have already seen her in one of the games, right? It looks like this is a location from Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, let's see. Wait, what? The light came on. Oh no, I know this guy. I saw him in Five Nights at Freddy's. He is very creepy. I hope he doesn't kill us now. By the way, guys, if you know this guy's name, write about it in the comments. Because to be honest, we all forgot his name. Oh no, it's him again. It's good that there is a huge glass here that doesn't allow him to get inside. Although, I think that... Oh no. Oh no, he's running right behind us. How did this guy even get through that glass? It seems to me that he should not walk around this location so freely. Well, let's just wait it out in the elevator and not get out. But I think we should go out and try to go into another corridor. Maybe there is something interesting there? Oh no, I think that was a bad idea. Well, we died again and find ourselves at spawn again. Just look at these wonderful sneakers. Now we'll go further down this elevator. Wow, they make light when they walk. This is very cool. This guy has the exact same ones. Just look at this. Okay, and here is the last location for today. These walls are so rusty. It looks like some kind of prison. 
I hope we don't go to jail in Roblox now. I would hate to sit in this prison wearing such cool sneakers. Nothing bad is happening here yet! We just walk around this location and explore it! Oh no! The light turned off! Perhaps this means that someone will appear soon! Well, it's good that we have cool sneakers that glow when we jump. This darkness is not scary for us and we can very quickly escape from the monster that may appear. But no one has shown up yet! Look, we have pizza! Great! We ate it! Well, let's wait for someone to show up. It might happen too soon. Interesting. Where will this monster come from? Oh, just look! There's a face there! Wait, what? Everything turned red. Oh no, that face came out of that wall! I think that we shouldn't come close to it because it could start moving towards us at any moment. It looks really very creepy and makes a very creepy sound. Oh no, it killed us! Well, I suggest moving on to the next game! 